Well, hello again, everyone. It's Pastor James here. Uh, I just finished recording uh, the Vespers service for uh, Wednesday, April 1st, uh, and thought I would just share a couple of updates with you um, as we approach uh, Palm Sunday and, and Holy Week. It's a very special, meaningful time of the year, uh, always. Uh, and this year, of course, will be quite different. Our executive committee uh, did uh, officially agree that there's really no choice but to have no uh, church services uh, through April. So that will include Palm Sunday, Holy Week, and unfortunately Easter Sunday. Whenever we are able to get back together again in person, we will celebrate Easter again. So we will get to celebrate Easter twice uh, this year. Uh, but with that in mind, I just want to really encourage you to uh, consider Holy Week to be a holy time in your life. Yeah, regardless of whether we can come to church or not, Holy Week will happen. The events that Jesus went through for us continue to be observed by the church around the world. Maybe as much as ever, this is an important time to remember and ponder the great gift uh, that Jesus gave uh, to us. With that in mind, uh, I have put together a special uh, prayer booklet. It's the second uh, booklet that I've, I've done now. And I encourage you to uh, don't throw the other one away. Uh, put that aside for a week uh, and come back to it after Easter. But this uh, new prayer booklet is based on the seven words, the last words that Jesus spoke from the cross. Uh, very uh, meaningful uh, words to ponder uh, anytime, but certainly during Holy Week. And so we will have these booklets available outside the church door. Uh, don't make a special trip to the church, but you know, I know you have to be out to grocery shop and, and whatnot. And when you are, you might just come by and, and pick one up or call the church and we'll be glad to mail one to you uh, as well. I'll also be putting together a video devotion uh, based on this booklet uh, for each day in Holy Week. So each day, no more than 10 minutes of video uh, with uh, scripture, reflection, and some music. Uh, again, just ways for us to walk through Holy Week together. Uh, we are making plans to continue our online worship services and really appreciate the positive feedback about these. Uh, it's been so gratifying to me to just see and hear uh, the stories of you worshiping together as families in your homes. What a beautiful, wonderful thing to do in this time. Uh, so we will be putting together our Palm Sunday service for this Sunday. Uh, we, we expect to have palm branches still, uh, so they'll be outside the church office door as well. You can pick up your palm branches when you pick up the booklet. Uh, and you can have those palm branches to be available to you uh, for our Palm Sunday service uh, this, this Sunday. Again, we'll have short services each uh, day during Holy Week. We'll have Monday, Thursday, Good Friday worship services as well, and then a celebration of Easter uh, for a week from, from Sunday. Uh, it will be an unusual Easter for sure, but it's, an, it's good to remember that, you know, that very first Easter was not celebrated in a church either. You know, it was celebrated by people walking on the road to Emmaus. Uh, it was celebrated by people locked in the upper room. It was celebrated by women going to the grave to mourn and to prepare on the body. Easter came in many and various ways to those first disciples, and it will come to us as well, wherever and whenever Easter finds us it will be a reminder to us that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us, has been raised from the dead. 